What is your life? It's even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. If someone had told me when I was 20 years old that life was very short and would pass just like that, I wouldn't have believed it. And if I tell you that, you don't believe it either. I cannot get young people to understand how brief life is, how quickly it passes. It seems like yesterday I was in school. Every one of us here has been given the same amount of time in a day. 1,440 minutes a day, 168 hours per week. The days of our years are three score years and 10. And if by reason of strength there are four score years, yet is there strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we are passed away and cut off. Seventy years God allows us. And it's interesting to me with all of our medical science, We've never passed that magic mark. The average American male today lives 70 years and four months. The average female, 73 years and six months. More people live to be 70. But the average age of an American is still 70 as taught in the scriptures. Now 70 years God allows us. Let's think a moment. What do we do with those 70 years? The first 15 are spent in childhood, or, and then 20 years we sleep. And then the last five years, physical limitations are curtailing your activities. They haven't curtailed mine yet, but I, I, my fifth year until 70 starts next year. Only 30 years left, and part of that time must be spent in eating meals, working, and figuring out your income tax, things like that. Now is the accepted time. The things we ought to do, the classes we ought to take, the books we ought to read. Do it now. The family that needs you, spend more time now. Write that letter home now that you've been meaning to write. Money you ought to give, give now. Time for study, do it now. People you ought to witness to, do it now. Every time the clock ticks, it seems to say now. Today, if you will hear his voice. There is the category of problems in life, and it ain't going anywhere. And so the question is, can you deal with the whole category at the same time? That's the thing, that's how to be in the world, is to deal with that category all at the same time. And so how did, how did human beings, what did they come up with as a solution? And that's so cool too, because the solution they come up with, not only was the heroism that allows you to approach what you're terrified by and what you find offensive, and to learn from it, but also the idea of sacrifice, and, and that was played out by cultures everywhere, including human sacrifice. And you think, what the hell was up with those crazy bastards so long ago? They were sacrificing to gods all the time. What kind of clueless behavior was that? Burn something and please God. Burn something valuable and please God. What was with them? What were they thinking? Well, they weren't stupid, those people. If they were stupid, we wouldn't be here. They were not stupid, and believe me, we lived under a lot harsher conditions than we do. So those were some tough people, man. You know, back then you'd last about 15 minutes. And so you don't wanna be thinking of your ancestors as stupid. Like there's no real evidence that we're much different cognitively than we were 150,000 years ago. So anyways, sacrifice. What does that mean, sacrifice? Well, it's a discovery, man. It's the discovery of the future. It's like the future is actually the place where there is threat. It's always going to be there. So what do you do? You make sacrifices in the present so that the future is better. <laughs>